Guys, welcome to a brand new episode. Back in paradise as per usual. Um, I'm really, really excited about this week's episode because I have teamed up with the Spice Sailor to show you guys how to make a beautiful, really, really easy uh, mud crab curry using these super easy sachets that you can get at uh, Woolies and Coles. Um, and you've probably seen them around. I've been a big fan of them for years. And when they reached out to me to see if I wanted to give their sachets a go, of course I said yes because I've been using these forever. Uh, so I'm really excited to make a beautiful Carol and Coconut Mud Crab Curry today. But first, we have to catch the mud crabs, so let's go! a beautiful mud crab. Look at the size of his nippers. Massive. Two of them. That's so good. I couldn't believe it. Rocked up to the first pot this morning. Got two beautiful big mud crabs straight away and like it doesn't honestly it doesn't get much better than that. I need to take the rest of the pots later but if this is the first start we're sorted. Um, I'm going to make a really, really beautiful curry. I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to use these sachets um, and also just make curries and cook seafood in general because I think a lot of people get really intimidated by that. Now, you don't have to use mud crab for this recipe. Uh, it's really, really versatile. Actually, these sachets are amazing because uh, if you went down to your local fish market and you couldn't afford a mud crab or if you even couldn't catch any yourself, uh, you can use sand crab or even prawns. Prawns are a really, really good replacement and they're going to be perfect in this curry because uh, down in Kerala, which is in the south of India, they use a lot of seafood, a lot of coconut uh, and beautiful rich dishes. So uh, this muddy is going to be perfect. This recipe barely requires a handful of ingredients. All I've got here, a bit of peanut oil. I've got my crab, which is all prepped up and ready to go. And again, you can use any other seafood you like really. Uh, prawns will be really, really fantastic. Swimmer crabs will be great. Uh, lobster, if you can afford it, um, or even just a bit of fish will be really, really good in this. Now, these are absolutely fantastic because as opposed to carrying around uh, a big menagerie of spices and herbs and um, curry paste and stuff like that, everything is already done for you. Uh, they come with these beautiful little sachets for all your herbs in there for uh, sort of flavoring your oil before you put your meat in there. And then, of course, we've got our sachets here. Look, you can even see it's got curry leaf in there. This is going to be absolutely divine. Now the first step to getting our curry started is in with a bit of peanut oil. Now the oil's a little bit smoky now, it's nice and hot. We don't want it too hot. And we're going to fry these spices. And this, and this is really going to flavour this oil, which is going to be the base for cooking our crab. Those spices are smelling really, really good now. So. In goes the crab. So the crab is cooking along nicely. It's getting a lot of really, really beautiful colour on there. And I reckon just about a minute or so, it's going to be ready for our sauce. And all we have to do for that, pop straight in. That is smelling absolutely divine. In with our sauce. The whole sachet. Give it a fold and then give it a good mix up. This curry is looking and smelling so good. It's rich, it's creamy, it's aromatic. And cooked perfectly, I might add. <laughs> Alright, let's get it going. So I've got a bowl of basmati rice here. 
look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely divine? Little bit of fresh mint over the top. I've got some green chili, bit of cucumber on the side. That is looking absolutely divine. I, that is a crab curry if I've ever seen one. It smells so good. It's like super aromatic, it's really rich. Look at that. Oh, I'm just so excited. Now, if you guys are keen to give this a go, or any of the other Spice Teller uh, curry ranges, pop into your local Coles, Woolies, or even jump online to the Spice Teller website and order them online, because these are so good. Worth their weight in gold, I reckon. Just look at that. That is so, so good. I like little curry lollipops. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go finish this, uh, enjoy it on the beach, lay down in the sun for a bit and uh, soak in all paradise has to offer. Mm.